What's up everybody, welcome back to Malabar Tour where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test 5 vintage gadgets. Let's check this out. This time I got here a lemon gadget, looks like Hugo wants to come back and help me. So check this out, I have done this gadget before but very new one and it made from plastic. This made from wood and there is a metal hinge inside here. That's so weird. When I saw it, I was like, whoa, I had to put it to the test. See if it actually works. So first of all, I'm gonna chop the lemon in half. You like that, Hugo? And then how it works, you put the, I guess, the lemon like this, and then squish it down this way. Let's see if it works. Hugo, you wanna see if it actually works or no? I love how he's like so entertained by this lemon. Okay. Whoa! Oh my gosh, it works so well! Oh, it kind of goes from the sides as well. This kind of lemon is too big a little bit. Maybe back in the day the lemons were smaller or something. But look, all the seeds got stuck in there too. What, Hugo, you're not interested anymore? Come back and help me do that video. Everybody want to see you in a video. <laughs> look at his head, he's so funny. Alright. Watch how it works, you go, you put lemon over here and then you close it like this. No, just pay attention, maybe you'll do it next time. And then you squeeze it. And boom, all the lemon is squeezed out. Why? Wow, it works actually really, really well. That's amazing, look at that lemon. And boom, all the seeds are in here. No seats in there. You know what? That gadget works really well. Love it. Thumbs up for me. Do you like that gadget or what? Lemons are not good for the dogs. This side here is pretty old nut cracker. Look, it even looks like a walnut on this side. So let's put it in, in here and try to crack on this nut. Uh, this is a pecan nut. Whoa, that's actually pretty easy. It works really well. That's crazy that this 50 year old nutcracker and they still make similar nutcrackers. Wow, this is the best way to do it. Wow, look at that. That pit can have opened all the way. Boom and boom. Wow. I really like that design that you can put it like this. And I think that's how you actually want to crack it this way. And boom, we got it open. Wow, I love that. It, it works really well. I love how back in the day everything was so durable. It just stayed up, piece of metal. It's pretty heavy. And I don't see how this really old gadget will break anytime soon. I love it. For this gadget, we got here a cheese grater. You know, they actually still make gadget like that, but with plastic. This thing right here, completely whole thin metal, except the wooden handle right here. Let's see how it works. And there is a shredder right there. Okay, I have a block of cheese. We're gonna put it like that. This part right here will push the cheese down. And then you hold it like this and spin it like that. Oop, the other way. Oh my gosh, it makes some weird noise. It's, it's so old, I guess. It doesn't really want to keep up. Let me try to put a smaller piece. Maybe it will help. Yeah, you know what? Smaller piece works really well. Whoa, look at the cheese. Look at the cheese inside. This is so cool. Okay, so the best probably just cut off a piece of cheese like this and then put it in a cheese grater like that. Boom. Wow, look how much it comes out from over there. Wow, that's so awesome. One more thing about this gadget I did not realize. When you open this and open this, this whole part takes off so you can wash it really well. Wow. That's so cool. I love that. I love that design so much. Put it on and look, it doesn't come off. Wow. 
easy to clean that's for sure you know what another really cool gadget from many many years ago and that's crazy that they still making these gadgets but in plastic you know what metal is way cooler and better oh well let's check out the next gadget cut and seal so this is a sandwich maker you see if i press this thing let's see what happens this comes up forward so i would have to push it push it and turn it i guess to cut it let's see push it and turn it to cut it sweet i'm going to make a tuna sandwich so i'll be using tuna boom just like that in the middle of the bread so it's about where it's going to get cut and then i'm going to put another piece of bread like that and then let's see if magic is going to happen so i'm going to put my hand on and just twist it like that let's see if it worked well you know what it kind of worked oh it got busted on one side let me try this again i think i messed up then we're gonna put another piece of bread and put it like this squeeze it down here squeeze it like that and then i'm just going to turn that knob let's see if anything changed wow look at that now i'm just gonna peel away that bread and the bottom one You know what, it kind of works, you see how it seals up the sandwich and now you have this like a little dumpling, tuna dumpling. That's pretty fun gadget to have. As you can see I got here a pretty small pot, we got our water to a boil and this egg poacher is going to stay like that, boom. Wow, that looks cool. And then I'm going to just put an egg right inside of this egg poacher and let's see if it works. Let's do two eggs because I feel like one egg is just not enough. Boom. Well, most of the eggs kind of stayed inside of that basket, but I can see a lot of egg have came out. Oh well. Okay, I think it should be good enough. Let's see if it's hot. Let's pull it out. You know what? Most of an egg kind of came off from this. So I don't think it worked that well. Maybe I should have have boiled it even longer. Well guys, let me know in comments below. Did I use it wrong or something? Because a lot of egg has escaped from this egg poacher. Or maybe it's not even egg poacher. Let me know in comments below if I'm using this gadget right or not. 